This is a Game Caviar production. Ah, a while back I did a video about the game uh, that was in its beta stage and I ended up being a part of it and I gave my beta review, but this is the whole game. This is Arctic Combat. A game that you can... Wow, I have no idea why I didn't kill that dude right there. But this game, you can download this game off of Steam. And it's free to play. Okay? You unlock things through playing or you can buy credits. It's your typical free to play game. This game has a lot of similarities to Call of Duty, of course. And I think that it honestly it tries to be too much like Call of Duty. The spawn system in this game is pretty terrible. But it's kind of hard to, to really put a finger on whether it's the spawn system in the game itself or each server that you join. Uh, I have seen somewhere some messages when you join that say something about the spawns. I, I, I think whoever starts the 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 server or the room controls how the spawns whether they rotate or not i know when you first spawn this is something i wish call of duty did you have a certain number of seconds to where you're invincible invincible i think it's like three seconds or ten seconds or something and uh as you can see the graphics are about subpars what you would find in call of duty of course, they're not going to be that great like a uh, Battlefield or something like that because this is a free-for-all game. I mean, not a free-for-all, a free-to-play game, so I doubt if they really put that much effort into the, the graphics. See, that, that guy was uh, glowing orange as I got caught in a little spawn trappage. Anyway, this is what it is. Like, it's this is uh, Team Deathmatch, and uh, it should just be called Spawn Trap because that's basically all you end up doing. And the game is set up to facilitate that. So, uh, this game is fun. It, I mean, it is fun. I, I will say that I had fun playing this game, okay? The spawn traps weren't rampant. And it, it's not something that you would see in, in uh, Call of Duty because of the the, the uh, invincibility, the, the amount of time that you get to be invincible. And the certain fact, the, the fact that you just, uh, you, you can shoot the people but they can't kill you so even if you get spawned and there's somebody right there from the other team you just kill them and you press on this is something that i wish call of duty had but alas they have not implemented that into their game i should really play different uh, uh modes like they have they have a lot of modes uh, besides team deathmatch the only one that comes to mind right now is search and destroy things like that i'm pretty sure they have like a domination or something like that i'm thinking that maybe those game modes those objective based game modes aren't so spawn trappy as uh, the team deathmatch where the only objective is to kill the other play the other players you know the other team so i guess that in this game if you play this game if you're on computer and you play this game and you download it just make sure that you check and see that whether the spawns are set whether they rotate and if they do rotate what's the interval the interval of rotation blah 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 whatever if you care like i said it it gets annoying but then it's not that annoying because you you are invincible for a few seconds so if somebody's there you just kill them uh i also think that this game can actually be a pretty good online shooter it's free to play anybody can get on and play as long as you have a pc that can play the game and you have steam of course and so you can get on and you can have a good time playing this game i mean it doesn't take much if you've played any first person shooter online then you can pick up and play this game this isn't something that has a steep learning curve this isn't like you know flight simulator or some shit you know this is just a, you know you have a gun you on, on the team you kill the other team and then you press on and this isn't like combat arms to where it's hacked all the shit like they have uh like, I got really lucky right here. But they have measures set in place to prevent people from hacking. Uh, so, it, it's a really good game. And from the beta to the mass production game, I'm really happy with the way this game turned out. Because I was really waiting for it. And I didn't know it was released. 
and I just so happened to be uh, perusing the Steam store, and I saw it on there, and I downloaded it, and I honestly, I wanted it to be great, but I wasn't sure, and it actually turned out to be really well, so I'm going to go ahead and add this to the... Uh, the the uh the rotation on game caviar and i will we'll press on from there like i said this is a really fun game on pc and i guess on pc i can rotate between this uh cod 4 and modern warfare 3 and uh loadout whenever that game gets released i don't think i'm gonna put up any more beta videos because they're all basically the same so anyway uh like comment subscribe and i'm not having it in the game caviar studios thank you for watching this video and i'm out this has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.